It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the New York Jets and the Arizona Cardinals, next on Madden Football. It's your neighbor to nearby downtown Phoenix. We're at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale, Arizona. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. That experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience, more likely is going to come away with the win. Chad Ryland will have the honor of getting us started. And here we go in State Farm Stadium. Xavier Gibson now to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Jets take the field for their first drive. They're let out by the four-time MVP who's been in this league since 2005, Aaron Rodgers. I think it's safe to say, Kate, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers may be one of the most polarizing figures in the NFL, but there is nobody, nobody will question his ability to spin a football different than everybody else. Just ask his receivers, tight ends, running backs, anybody that's ever played with him. He elevates their game, and he often elevates his own game to an MVP kind of level. He'll start this one out with Hall. And he'll take this up to around the 30-yard line. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. You've got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. Oh, we're moving along the line there. That's going to cost the defense five yards. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Rogers here off the play action. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver. So it's going to be third and short coming up. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Rodgers here from the gun. Makes the grab and bounds left side. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. Now here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete, too late. It's headed the other way. Let's see how they attack this first down block from the 43. Hall takes it straight ahead. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Okay, a two-yard run on first down. I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. But you're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 41. It's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. From the shotgun, Rogers. It was there, but it couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And they're going to 
going to be stuck with a fourth and long. I think everybody in the building was already thinking about the next play to run as they watched that short throw to the tight end. That's a gimme. You don't expect to see many of those drops. Our team is on now, and they get this away. And no chance at a return as this one heads across the sideline at the 25-yard line. So here come the Cardinals now as they get sent for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the 60-year pro and former number one overall pick out of Oklahoma, Kyler Murray. A reconstructed knee limited Kyler Murray to just eight games a season ago. But in those eight games, Kate, we got a chance to see those feet once again come to life. Man, is he dynamic when he's 100%. And when he can complement that running ability with some accuracy and anticipation in the passing game, this guy is a nightmare for defensive coordinators to contain. Running to stop this drive with Connor. He's got to get his six there. Ashton Davis there on the stop. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. nobody's perfect and all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100% they've got to be borderline automatic in this offense splits a couple of defenders and completes it and he'll pick up enough to move the chains well the odds are great when you throw into double coverage normally you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball two men nearby and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play New slated downs to approach here from the 40. On first and 10, it's Murray. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you got to count on those being efficient and effective. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. to the air, Murray. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. So now it's gonna be third and long. From the gun, it's Murray. On the left side. And he's going to be blocked down at the 42. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. So on fourth down now, Blake Gillikin gets the call to punt it away for the Cardinals. And he's there to make the fair catch right at the 10-yard line. No return on that punt. And it'll be Jets football. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Rodgers will look to throw. Completed over the middle. To contain him after that six yard pickup. Dadrian Taylor Demerson getting there for the tackle. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Hall running between the tackles. He's going to snag a couple yards, charging up the gut. Brought to the ground by Kaiser White. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. Take him down right along the 40. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the 
chains. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, okay? They don't always get the attention they deserve on broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. Little slated downs to approach here from the 40. First down, Rodgers. Ooh, he wants to throw the costume. Defender has it in his hands. He dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. He got to secure the pick before anything else. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. From the gun, it's on. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. That's caught for the first. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, I often say there is a fine line between aggressiveness and carelessness. And when you throw in a double coverage, well, it can go either way. That time, a tremendous catch by his receiver on the other end. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Looking out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Curley wins it in. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your pass. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Here's Hall. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger, but that back remains hungry. Play action with Rodgers. Brought in close to the eights. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. That wasn't going anywhere else on that play. It's one of the ones called specifically for the tight end because they know he's able to get a good release off that play action and then he gets himself in space to do some damage. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. shot at six that time and it'll be second and goal still a couple of shots at this one that's a nice job there by the linebacker he kind of looks like a cornerback on that doesn't he perhaps those cover guys get a little fun with him in practice this week because he looked like a db right there swatting the incompletion now they'll throw out of the gun yeah this is cut touchdown new york the chance go up 6-0 here in the first Garrett Wilson with the touchdown. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Brock. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. Riley Patterson on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Jets will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Kick this away. 
DJ Dallas now to return it. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Now Murray on the play fake. play went for negative yards anyway, so no need for them to accept that penalty. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Shotgun handoff to Connor. And he found some running room for a nice game. It goes as a gain of seven, but somehow twice that 14 yards to go here on third down. Kyler looking to throw. He'll get this one to Connor. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down, sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness it's coming, and then more importantly, to stop it. They'll punch it away again. Blake Gillikin coming back to the field. His first effort went 47 yards. Brock looks to have a little more under this one. And he'll get under this one and make the fair catch at the 19-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And they're going to take over possession. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Rogers. Able to find Corley. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. Second and six coming up here. From the 24. And that's incomplete. And he's happy to have that one fall compared to well, the alternative. Looked like it was going to be picked there. Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. Rogers throwing on third down. And he's incomplete, so that's him bringing up fourth down. You hear defensive coaches on every practice field we're on preach not giving up the big play, especially at the NFL level. They'll need to stay vigilant because they're definitely going to use that receiver to take the lid off this defense again. Thomas Morstead on the punt. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. The fair catch taken in at the 28-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And it'll be Cardinals football. Yeah. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Operating from the gun. Here's Murray. With a new set of downs. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. And that ball's incomplete. Ooh, very fortunate that didn't go as a turnover. So it's second down coming up. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? 
Well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. Murray thrown again on second and ten. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Now Kyler. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Pursue, pursue, pursue. It's why they do these drills all the time, Kate. You do it through the offseason, do it through training camp, you do them in the regular season. Because when a defense plays with tremendous pursuit, you force fourth downs just as they did. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And he's brought down before the return gets far. Mm, after that return, he's looking pretty banged up out there. We're going to have a stoppage as team personnel comes out to look at him. start out with a first and ten. They start to drive with Hall. Dukes at a one stop. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. So before they can set it for another play, we've hit the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to State Farm Stadium in just a moment. second quarter of play it's Jets football they've got first and ten here looking to add to their lead here's Hall once more he loses the football and no turnover it's going to stay with the offense a nice six yard pickup they're going to have second and four well you don't like to see the fumble but hey at least they were able to be the ones to recover it and they keep possession yeah, and I think the key there was to stay calm through the chaos. Cooler heads prevailed and got him the ball back. They give on second to Hall. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? They did the exact opposite here, Kate. Now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. And there's an extra DB out there on the field now for the Cardinals. Third down coming. to throw with Rodgers. Hits him on the out route. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have. And he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Rodgers set to pass. Couldn't bring it in over the middle. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Rodgers here from the gun. Play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball. Right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. They're set up at the 35 now. Shotgun snap, a give to Hall. 
And he gets him around six there. Sean Murphy Bunting ranging over for that side. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. Playing at some 17 yards. And it'll give the Jets a first down. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know, because I've been around this league a long time, runs like that, they're really hard to come by. It takes everybody. Maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. From the shotgun, Rogers. And he's got a touchdown, but there's a flag down. Might be defensive, though. I think this touchdown should stand. Offense liked how that play wins. They choose to decline the penalty. Patterson on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Jets double their lead to 14. Patterson now to kick this away. Dallas with a return. A pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Murray from the pistol. Murray's there, Trey McBride. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. As quarterback, when you have an out route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. On second down, a run with Connor. And he'll get them enough for a first down. And I know the temptation is there. If I'm thinking it in the booth, I know that play caller is too. That could have been a chance to be aggressive. Not the case. Go get the first down like they did, and the new set of downs to work with. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. From the gun, it's Murray. That pass is complete to McBride. Tackles made just beyond midfield at the 48. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. 
You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. Oh, they're going to run the option to the short side. And he's able to work this down to the 41. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, some really quick decision-making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. Second and three. This one is hit by a defender and lines up incomplete. That's just simply great positioning to swat the ball away. He stayed in the spot where he could disrupt the throw before the target and make a play on it. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Murray setting up to throw. Dumped off to his running back. And the defense was ready. They got him at the line. That's how you draw it up defensively. That's exactly what you want the coverage to do. Force that quarterback to throw it short and get off the field. The Cardinals out for the punt. Xavier Gibson on to return for the Jets. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. Now this is out of bounds, and what a beauty. He coughed and cornered it well. They're going to mark it at the two-yard line. The Jets and Brees Hall about set to go on offense. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Out of his end zone, Rogers. He's on the move, and the pressure gets home. He doesn't throw it in time. That's a safety. And it wasn't a touchdown or a field goal block, but hey, points are points, and their first points of the game come on at their safety. You'll take them any way you can get them in this league, Kate, okay? right? And if the defense has got to score, and they've got to continue to score, uh, that is just fine because that is a breath of fresh air on that sideline and hopefully a bit of a kickstarter for their offense as well. Out now for the free kick. Hoping their defense can answer a safety with a stop of their own. Secures this at the 17. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. They're out and set. First and ten. Murray. Counting his lucky stars, that one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Here's Kyler to throw. Bails out. Oh, he was on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Okay, it's pretty clear, isn't it? It's this constant pressure that this defense has imposed on this offense to keep them out of rhythm and build up this lead. This offense is not going to author a comeback if this quarterback continues to run for his life. And the Jets in the dime for this third down. Let's come in here, Brock. It's Murray. before being stopped on a huge game. We always hear about a tight end as a quarterback's best friend. That play is so indicative of it, Kate. You love a big target, and you know if you can hit him in stride, he's got a chance to get some big yards after the catch. Go, 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 go. 
So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and ten inside the red zone. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Second down now, seven to go. Kyler looking to throw. The throw is caught. And this one does not go far. Versatility with a capital V. They can use him out of the backfield. They can line him up as a receiver. And they trust he'll get results from both alignments. Third and four coming up now. Back to the air. Murray escapes the pocket. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Connor. Those offensive coaches got to be hot, Brock. That was a touchdown that shouldn't have happened. That tackle should have ended it. You try bringing down one of these NFL running backs <laughs> in this case. Okay, touche, touche, partner. <laughs> they see that goal line. They smell that goal line. It is no sure thing to try to bring down one of those horses before they find pay dirt. On is Chad Ryland for the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Cardinals trim the deficit down to five. After making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. On return, here comes Davis. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking out of the gun. It's Rodgers. This is on target to Xavier Gibson. This is ahead for about five. Dadrian Taylor Demerson getting there for the tackle. That brings us to the two-minute warning at Glendale. The Jets driving ahead. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 34. Wilson on the slant. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. That one gains seven. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Throwing again. It's Rogers. This will be caught by Adams. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. A 
A gain they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. They'll throw again. Rogers. Jordan connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. timeouts that's their first they'll have two left to work with before halftime football on that 47 yard line first down Throwing once again, Rogers. Wilson's got it. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. Big gain, 14 on the play. And it'll give the Jets a first down. Rogers here from the gun. Okay, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Rogers here off the play action. Had the window to go deep, but just couldn't make it happen. Now it's third down. Just something off in the rhythm of the passing game on that one, Kate. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back on track. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. From the shotgun, Rogers. He's got the hook up to Adams. And he goes out of bounds after getting them to the seven. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. Just excellent effort on that catch, and a lightning quick transition from bringing that football in to getting vertical. He was not content for a second to end that play where he caught it. Uh-uh. Any catch he makes, his intent is to put some serious yards on top of it. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. Incomplete. We're down in nine seconds left. I hate those situations, Cade, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. He thinks did a better job and not getting away. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. He'll throw it yet again. Jets will add to their lead at the end of the half. Garrett Wilson with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Slant route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. Patterson on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Jets push the lead up to 12.
Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. A final throw before the break. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. And they can't connect on the deep look. Still a couple of snaps to play with, though, here. We've got second down. So at the end of two, the Jets really playing road warriors here. They've got the lead. Now we'll send you to our studios in Orlando and Jonathan Coachman for a look around the league with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. Both these teams ready for the fight ahead. We're ready to get back to it as well. And to do just that, we'll hand it back over to Kate and Brock. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's Patterson now to kick this away. Dallas with a return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Here come the Cardinals to begin quarter number three. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Got his man, that's Zay Jones. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He can take it to the house. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and 10, Murray. Able to hit Ryman, complete. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You put up the combine times of tight ends running a 40-yard dash, and they certainly don't run as fast as the safeties or the corners in this league. But when you get them going in the right direction and you get them dragging across the field like that, well, they can still do their damage. From the 44 here on second down, gets this one to Harrison. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. First down carry for Connor. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. Quincy Williams making the tackle. Two on the pickup there and it's gonna be second and eight. On the gun, it's Murray. Has him on the quick hitter. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Now a Sauce Gardner dropping him there. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Murray on third down. He's on the move. The stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could.
Fourth and three, drive on the line. They'll go, Connor. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. That's a pretty clear plan of attack by the back from the very start. Found the lane quickly, didn't hesitate, knew exactly what he needed to get. Get past the marker. All right, set now. First and ten. It's Connor again. Well, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Murray set up to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Connor here from the gun. And they're going to stop him after he runs it inside the 35. It's a gain of six, and now they face a daunting third and 14. Operating from the gun. Here's Murray. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. Too far. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're gonna miss. You just gotta shake it off and keep shooting away. Field goal attempts coming here from Chad Ryland. A 49-yarder in front of him here. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the lead is back down to nine. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lot. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. So we've got ourselves a nine-point game now as they'll kick this off. On the return, here comes Davis. This return makes it up to the 25. The Jets and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, is touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. Starts out with a first and ten. They start the half with a give to Hall. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. These edge defenders in the league today, Kate, they've got so much on their list to do. A huge to-do list. They've got to get to the passer, they've got to set an edge, and they've got to stop that run game, not just on the end of the line, but in that case, right in the middle of the field. Play action, Rogers. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Zayvon Collins in on the tackle. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to nip them much. Cardinals going nickel here, third down. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And it's good enough for a New York first down. 
I think the defense is still turned around looking for where the ball is. Because that QB at tight ends, they got that ball out in a hurry. All set up now for first and ten. Now Rodgers. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When he's on the field, it's going to be second down. Throwing it again. Escapes the pocket. He takes it himself. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I can promise you that was the goal from the moment he took up. He kept his eyes locked on the chains. It's almost like he had a spidey sense. He knew exactly where to get in order to move the sticks and get that critical first down. First down, ball at the 36. Here's Rogers. Complete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver. And it's going to be second down. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. He'll get this one to Adams. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. Sean Murphy Bunting ranging over for that stop. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Back now, pressure on its way. put that sack right into the coverage sack category. You can see the quarterback, he's scanning, right? It's going through his progressions. One, two, three, nobody's open, and then bam! Sack lunch. Here comes the punting unit for the Jets. Thomas Morstead will kick it away. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. First play of the drive, and he takes an option left. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Is a corner in this league? Well, you can go to the Pro Bowl if you can cover. If you want to be an All-Pro, you stick someone like that. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Running back sent in motion. Second and ten now. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. That play good for 17 and a first down. They were in this 12-yard out route cade at the combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Hits him on the out route. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check-down yards. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Connor on the inside give. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. 
you know, for pitchers, you know, hear them say, gosh, you got to pitch this guy backwards. For defenses, you got to do the same at times, Kate. You just can't always run it on first. You got to mix in some high percentage pass plays. Otherwise, you're going to get hit right in the face for a loss just like that. are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. you got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. Big play sets him up pretty here with first and goal from the five. Trying to run it in, Connor. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss situational football looking at first and goal these defenses know what's coming at them more often than not a run play it really is better to throw the ball unless you've got a way to disguise the run and there was no disguising on that one now murray he's on the move He made something out of that play for them. Everyone's so concerned with defending the pass, they didn't quite keep tabs on what he was doing as a QB, and it gave him just enough room to run. So now, here's third and goal. Here's Murray. Buys time, rolling. It's time they're gonna get there, and they drop him. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. I know we talk about rhythm a lot when it comes to music, but it's the same thing with the quarterback and his protection. This QB was in rhythm, but they knocked the notes out of him on that one. Three plays haven't gotten it done. Now a fourth to try to reach that end zone. They snap it to Murray. On the move, hit it right. And he carries it in for the touchdown. The Cardinals shave some off the deficit late in the quarter. It's a Kyler Murray touchdown. Well, Brock, not the way I imagine it was designed there on fourth and goal, but I don't think these coaches cared how he got the job done. Just make sure you get in for six. Yeah, really just two options here as the game speeds up down there, right? Find a throwing lane and execute quickly, or you better escape and make it happen with your legs. Mm -hmm. He didn't get the throwing lane, the coverage he wanted. It's a great decision. You cannot hesitate. You got to go for it, and he sure did, and use that athleticism for six. Ryland able to connect on the point after. And the Cardinals cut the lead down to just two. We're down to a two-point difference as they send the kick away. On the return, here comes Davis. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. after a solid game. So we're through three here. The Jets have it with a lead to start the fourth, but the win's not secure quite yet. Half 
halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They'll go right side with Hall. The flag's down as he stops. It looks like this one's on the offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Second and 15. Draw the out route complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Rodgers here from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Throw again, Rogers. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. Second down now, seven to go. Paul running between the tackles. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. Rogers will look to throw. Short pass brought in. Slated down to approach here from the 40. To the end here on first down, Rogers. He's got the look up to Adam. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. Just how many times do we see teams go to this route? You go to a Little League field, tell them to, hey, run to the post. It's a playbook staple. And he's someone you could depend on to create space and make catches out of it. They'll come up first and ten. Coming right is Hall. Jukes, and he's going to take it in for the New York touchdown. The Jets push this to an eight-point game. Brees Hall with the touchdown. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. Point after try upcoming to make this a two-score game here in the fourth. The point after splits the uprights. And the Jets push the lead to two scores now. Here's Patterson now to kick this away. Dallas with a return. 
he stopped on the return at the 27. The Cardinals and Kyler Murray set to take over. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Ready to start this drive with Connor. And he's only able to power this forward for about three yards. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. From the 29. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Operating from the gun. Here's Murray. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground. Complete defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. I think you're seeing why they like this guy in coverage, man. He reacts well to throws and is so adept in breaking up passes right through contact or before they ever reach the target. Punt team on the field. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. He signals for the fair catch and brings it in. The Jets and this running back headed back out for a new series. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. execution of that play because at least he didn't go backwards they'll come to the line here second and nine Roger set to pass this will be caught by Adams and he's tackled after gaining a handful Here they come. This is third and five. Working out of the gun. It's Rodgers. We'll see it on the slant. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Set up at the 35 now. Here's Rogers on first and 10. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Defense doubled him, knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. A bit surprising. Quarterback still threw in that direction with how well that defense had that play covered. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing once again, Rodgers. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. I feel so bad. I really do. And I don't mean this sarcastically, Kate. <laughs> I feel bad for these guys in coverage. I don't know how you defend some of these players today. Because they get that drag route, they get one step inside of you. Well, there's very little you can do other than make the tackle. Now Rodgers on third and short. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it'll give the Jets a first down. 
You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. Again, Rodgers. To the sideline, and Adam snags it. And out of bounds right at the 40 yard line. Can I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally, but really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. line dominated in the trenches and that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond all right i'll set up now first and ten working inside the red zone he intercepts it that is exactly what they needed Ryland now for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Cardinals cut the lead down to just two. Quick chance at redemption after that pick six as it's sent away. On return, here comes Davis. Oh, he's shown some burst on his return. His return gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. The visitors are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Come to the line here, second and nine. Now Rogers. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is cut. And 
An avoidable mistake, and that one's going to set the coaches off more than almost any other. And now they're going to mark off the yardage. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Running it after the penalty. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL, and so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. Call at the 33 for first down. To throw, Rodgers. Wilson's got it. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Second down now, seven to go. Paul takes it straight ahead. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. It's the two and a one in from Glendale. Jets up by just a couple of points. All plays on the table here for third and three. Here's Hall once more. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. So quickly the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. Surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. Still on the move. Coming in the line for first and ten. Running this with Hall. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. The Cardinals are going to use the last of their timeouts. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. They drop to a knee and what little time we have left here is going to take down. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock. But the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. Shotgun snap. A give to Hall. And they will score. Touchdown, New York. The Jets go up by eight at the end. Brees Hall with the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. A chance to make it a two-score game now and likely clinch the win with this try. And a likely game-winning extra point strikes true, and that should do it. We've got a two-score game now late. Here's Patterson now to kick this away. Dallas with a return. The 
Pirate team gets him down to the 26-yard line. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw it. Try to push it deep downfield. That's complete inside the 35-yard line. And he hits the end zone. Touchdown. I hope nobody left early, Brock, because we have still got a game. Spread the field and send them all deep, baby. All right, this might be a stupid question, Brock, but... What makes that play call successful against an NFL secondary? Yeah, because four verts is good against a college secondary, a high school secondary, a Pop Warner secondary, because it burdens and stresses that defense. And if you got people that can run and you got four choices to choose from, oftentimes you'll find one to hit on. Ryland now for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Cardinals cut the lead down to just two. So everything comes down to this onside kick with less than a minute to go. And the Jets come up with the football and should just about ice this game. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. The visitors returning their offense and this running back to the field. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone and it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. No timeouts remaining here, partners, so they can just run out this clock. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. With the win in hands, they'll take the knee and let this clock run out. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So it's a road win for the Jets. Well, Brock, they pulled out the win, but can't be feeling too good about it. Felt like they should have beat this squad a lot more convincingly than they did. Hey, I get it. On paper, this was a lopsided contest, but you don't play these games on paper. And this team brought everything they had. No such thing as a guaranteed win in the NFL. So it was a little too close for comfort. I got it. But more importantly, they still got the dub.